Filtex fiber optic displacement sensors are extremely accurate measuring devices that are so simple to use. This quick demo will show you everything you need to know to start taking measurements right away. First, we'll look at setting up the RC sensor. Connect a DC power supply to the sensor. Then, connect any voltage reading device to the output so you can read the 0 to plus 5 volt analog voltage output signal. Fixture the sensor tip so that it is perpendicular to the target and position the sensor gap to the middle of the linear range as shown in the calibration chart. For RC sensors, that point is approximately 2 volts DC. Now you can read the peak-to-peak -peak amplitude of the voltage signal caused by the movement of your target. The calibration chart for your sensor will note its sensitivity. Multiply the sensitivity by the measured change in voltage. Your result is micro inches of motion. And that's it! The entire measurement process for our RC models. Now, let's look at the D model sensor where the process is slightly different. D model sensors are lower in cost and can provide smaller target spot sizes than the RC models. They can also have more operating range than the RC types, which go to three quarters of an inch maximum. The D models, with the largest cross section, can operate at distances up to two and a half inches, which is about 64 millimeters. Operation of the D model is identical to the RC model, with this one exception. The sensor has to be calibrated to the target surface being measured. When you first position the sensor tip, you will need to find the point of maximum output voltage, also called the optical peak. To do this, bring the sensor very close to the target and adjust the gap until your voltmeter registers maximum voltage. Adjust the sensor gain controls so that the output voltage reads exactly 5.00 volts. You have now calibrated the sensor to the spot of your target that is immediately under the sensor tip. With RC models being reflectance compensated, this calibration step is not required. You can now choose whether you want to measure the motion using the far side or the near side of the sensor's operating range. The far side operating range provides a wide range of operation with moderate sensitivity. The near side operating range provides extremely high sensitivity within a restricted operating range. Move the sensor into the near or far side, depending on which is appropriate for your measurement. The linear operating range of the far side is centered about 3.5 volts. On the near side, it is approximately 2 volts. Now, just as with the RC model, read the change in voltage caused by the motion of your target. Consult the calibration chart and find the appropriate sensitivity for either the near or the far side. Multiply the change in voltage by the sensitivity, and again, you have your motion measured in micro inches. Finally, for applications requiring operating ranges exceeding the linear ranges of these sensors, polynomial curve fits can be provided to extend the range of calibrated operation to include the nonlinear regions of the sensing range. That's all there is to taking measurements with Filtex fiber optic displacement sensors. Minimal setup time, an intuitive learning process, and immediate readings make these sensors perfect for nearly any industry or application.